The exercise for the week is spinal extension and flexion using a prop, using spine support. So you're gonna take the ball into three different positions along the spinal column. You'll place it across the upper shoulder blade, mid shoulder blade area, kind of heart rate monitor spot. Then you're gonna place it below that at the following sequence. And the very last location is going to be at the sacrum lumbar area or right at the very small of your low back, okay? First variation is wonderful for opening up the back and the chest and this feeling of elongating. So squeeze your legs together, reach the elbows ever so slightly forward and up, activating into the deep abdominals by connecting the closure of the pelvic floor and the pelvic canal and feeling that ascending up towards your heart. So there's this upward generation of power going up this way, that's your deep core. And inhale to go back, reach through those elbows. Maybe your head touches, maybe it doesn't. Exhale, activating the lower abdominals first, mid abdominals, upper abdominals, to help you curl up. So I'm really using the ball rather than trying to take myself away from the ball, I'm actually really rolling and laying my spine on the ball and curling forward. Two more, inhale, stretch your lungs, stretch your intercostals, open your ribs, relax your neck and shoulders, and then exhale, <sighs> curl. Remember to use the ball, the more you can press against the ball, the more you're recruiting into your abdominals to help that. All right, next variation, so next level, and I usually teach these three in a row, so along the sequence of along the spine. Next variation, I've got my legs squeezed together. My ball is right at the bottom of my rib cage. It's a more challenging position. It's where the curve of the spine happens, right? The rib cage comes into the lumbar, so we're right at that point of transition. This is a very, very, challenging part of the body. So you're welcome to either keep the hands behind the head, this is a more challenging variation, or reach your arms in front of you or cross your arms in front of your chest. No matter which way your arms are, you're closing the pelvic canal, pulling up through that deep abdominal core connection, and then we're gonna press back. Only go as far back as your ribs can stay anchored against the ball. Exhale, use that exhale and curl yourself up. I guarantee you, you will feel something. Inhale, exhale, two, we can do four of each thing. And if you're feeling this in your low back, this is too aggressive of a position. Move the ball higher up towards your shoulder blades. Maybe not quite as high as we had it the first time, but kind of work your way towards this location. Don't expect your body to go there right away if you haven't done this in a while or ever. Okay, so that was four. Now we're gonna come all the way back up. Very last variation, most challenging variation, the ball is gonna come to the small of your back. So for this one, I like to keep my hands in front of me personally because then I end up feeling far too much up in my neck and shoulders. So I keep my arms reaching in front of me. It also gives me a little bit of support and guidance. Squeeze my legs together, narrow through the pelvic floor, pull up that pelvic canal like a pelvic elevator ascending from the base of the uh, floor all the way up towards my navel center. So I'm gonna inhale, keep pressing back against the ball. I'm not trying to arch over the ball. I'm actually trying to flatten my spine against the ball and curl one, still sitting behind those sits bones, right? Inhale, exhale, pelvic floor, oh, deep abdominals too. This one makes me shake every time. Three, last one, and four, curl all the way up. So I encourage you to practice that. You can build it in length, so you do 10 of each thing, 10 up at the top, 10 in the middle, 10 at the bottom of your spine, play around with it, bring your legs up to tabletop. So enjoy, I love that we inspire each other. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.